Welcome back, Dr. Noah Voles here with Evidence-Based Exercises for Common Complaints. The complaint today is called a slap lesion. This is often a surgical condition, but it can be helpful to do conservative care um, depending on the severity of the tear in the superior labrum of the glenohumeral joint of the shoulder. So these exercises can be helpful. So we're gonna go through the six exercises now. The first exercise is called the Codman Pendulum. This is an exercise for a se severely limited shoulder movement. Uh, stand next to a table or a chair, place one hand on the table of the chair, and then allow the arm to hang. Then gently rock side to side, and then start to rock around in a circle as if your arm was a pendulum moving in a counterclockwise and then a clockwise fashion, just opening up the shoulder and reducing that reactivity of the shoulder. The next exercise is called cane abduction. Take a hold of a cane or a dowel or a broomstick and then place the end of the dowel in the palm of your hand of the shoulder that's been compromised. Then using the other arm, gently press into the dowel, bringing the arm out to the side and up towards the ear as far as it will go comfortably. Don't push into pain, but just get the shoulder moving. The next exercise is called scapular clocks. Your scapula is your shoulder blade, and you're gonna to wanna to move the shoulder blade up towards 12 o'clock, out towards three o'clock, down towards six o'clock, and in towards nine o'clock. Eventually, you can move the shoulder blade in a clockwise and then a counterclockwise fashion. The trick to doing this exercise is not moving the shoulder blade too much. You just want to be really gentle as you move the shoulder blade. The next exercise is called the TYI scapular depression exercise. This is a phase two exercise. So if the other exercises are going well, you can move into this exercise. Lay on your belly and then bring the arm up out to the side so the wrist is in line with the shoulder. Lower the arm down and then bring the arm up into a diagonal, lower the arm down, and then bring the arm straight up so the bicep is close to the ear, and then lower the arm down. The last exercise is also a phase two exercise. This is the low row. Get some small weights, bend the knees, hinge at the hips, elbows in towards the sides, and then straighten the arms, and then pull with the arms doing a row. So these are great exercises for a slap lesion. If you have that diagnosis and you're looking for additional exercises other than what you got from your medical provider or your physical therapist or your chiropractor, then these may be supportive. And it's always great to have hands-on clinical care. So this is better as an adjunct to whatever hands-on care that you're getting. I hope that you found these exercises helpful and I hope that they help you heal your shoulder pain Thank you so much for watching.